Thank you, Professor Otani. Our presenter today is Ms. Anne Christine, and she will speak to us on the topic of Japanese English is Japanese. Ms. Christine is an educator, writer, speaker, and blogger who lives in Manakara with her husband and three daughters. She enjoys exercise, cooking, and eating peanut butter. Hi. Hi. My name is Anne. Can you say Anne? Anne. Japan? Japan. <laughs> Perfect. Very good. Um, my name is Anne, and I am a teacher at the University of Kitakyushu in Hibikino campus, you know, near Oryo. Near Oryo. Um, I have been in Japan for 18 years. 18 years. Um, and I live in Minakata with my husband and three very, 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 very cute daughters. My daughters, my daughters are cuter than your daughters. No. <laughs> okay, so, um, my research field is Japanese English, which you call Waseigo. Uh, uh, and I, today, I want to tell you, I want to teach you a little bit about why I love Waseigo. Japanese English. I think it's really, really great. Okay, so I want to teach you, and if you don't understand my English, I will try to speak more slowly, or in Japanese, okay? But I want to try to speak English for you, okay? So today, I just want to teach you a little bit about um, Japanese vocabulary, Japanese words, right? Vocabulary is Japanese words. There's three kinds of words in Japanese. There's wago, which is original Japanese words, and then there's kango, which are words borrowed from China, and then there's gaiaigo, which you could also call katakana yogo, right? Katakana yogo. And these are words from Western languages. For example, uh, French, German, English, Portuguese, Dutch, Spanish. Okay? What do you think? What percent? Of Japanese is Kango. What do you think? What do you think? Just a little Japanese. What do you think? What do you think? 50. What do you think? What percent? 50. Anybody else? Any other answers? 60. Any more answers? That's right. 50% of Japanese words are borrowed from China. 50%. Okay? Now, what about gaidaigo? Katakana yogo? What do you think? How many? Think about your daily conversation. Think about your conversation with your friends. Think about words like computer and ice cream and what else? Fashion. What's, what percent of words do you think are gaidaigo? What do you think? 20? What do you think? 30? 20? Anyone else? No, okay. What do you think? 30? The answer is about 10. 10%. Jip percent Is gaidaigo or katakana yogo. Okay? So it's impossible impossible for you to have a conversation with no katakana yogo, right? Impossible for you to have a conversation, okay? So, so of that, so 10%, right? 10% of the words in Japanese are from our guide angle, okay? And of that 10%, 80 to 90% are English, okay? 80 to 90 percent are English, okay? But there are some guide I go that are not English. For example, these words are not from English. Buranko. Buranko. What language is it from? What do you think? Nanigo kara kitegutomo. Buranko. Eigo I can't speak Japanese. What do you think? 
German? What do you think? Italy. Huh? Italy. Italy? French? Any other opinions? It is actually from Portuguese. How about arubaito? You guys all know the word arubaito, right? Right? What language? It is not English. Sometimes my students say to me, Sensei, today I have my arubaito. And I say, arubaito is not English. And they go, arubaito. 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 Okay? It's still not English. Okay? Arubaito is from German. German. It comes from the German word Arubait, which means work. Okay? Arubait. Okay? Piero is from French. Francois. Pam. What about Pam? Anybody know? Pam. Pam is also yeah. from Porto Barugo, Portuguese. Okay? How about Landoseiru? Dutch. Anybody know Randoseru? If you know, raise your hand. Don't be shy. I love volunteers. Yes? It's Dutch, isn't it? That's right, Dutch. Yes. What's Dutch? How do you say Dutch? Yes. In Japanese. Anybody know? Orando. Orando. Okay? Randoseru. Randoseru is very Japanese. I, in America, I'm from America, we have no Randoseru. Okay? I come to Japan and they, I look. My, my daughter, when she was eighteen, years old, I go to the store. I was shocked because you don't ever spend that much money on a backpack, right, in other countries. How about anketo? Anketo is also not English. Anybody know? No idea. It's from French. Francois. Gips is from. Uh, German, or no, wait, Portuguese, and Karude is from German, okay? So these are some examples of words that are not English, okay? Now, these are real foreign loan words, right? These are, these are real Gaidaigo words, like ice cream, computer, escalator, suru, meishimo doshimaru, right? There's both. There's nouns and there's verbs, um, information, identity. I hate this word, identity. Identity no katakana ga kimchi wari. You wanna? They all look the same. It's like gasoline. Gasoline, I hate that. Information, organic, uh, stress, download, suru. These are all examples of foreign loan words in English. These are, these are real words, okay? These are real words. But today I want to talk to you about Japanese English, okay? Japanese English is original. Japanese words, right? It's original Japanese words. It looks like English, it sounds like English, but it's not English. It's not English, okay? And Japanese English is invented by Japanese people, okay? And sometimes native English speakers will laugh at Japanese English. English, okay? But I love Japanese English. I think Japanese English is very, very, very cool and very useful. Okay? And I want to talk to you today about why Japanese English is really a great thing. Okay? Japanese English is Japanese. Okay? It's not an English word. There are Japanese words. So, we cannot, native speakers, we can't say anything. We can't make fun of it. It's not English. Japanese English is Japanese. That's a very important point I want you to remember today. Okay? Now, what we're going to do now is why do, what's the purpose of Japanese English? Why Japanese English? Okay? There's three reasons, I think, for Japanese English. Number one, Japanese English is for Japanese people. Okay? Japanese people to communicate with each other. It's not for me to communicate with you, it's for you to communicate with each other, okay? It's easy to pronounce, okay? The pronunciation, hatsun, is very easy. And the meaning is easy to understand, right? For example, 
vending machine, right? It's a great word, right? It's a machine where you run. Simple. English, treadmill, huh? <laughs> what? It's difficult to understand the word treadmill, right? Another word, baby bed though. It's a bed for a baby. Wow, that's a great word. English, crib. Everybody say crib. Crib. Treadmill. Treadmill. Right. Oh my God, tell me that. Very nice. Okay. Now, treadmill and crib. So Japanese, these words are easy for Japanese people to say. Okay. Another reason is it makes the meaning soft. For example, if you say Japanese watashi no, right? Watashi no, it has a very strong, almost selfish waga mama. And you answer that, right? Watashi no, right? But if you say my, my car, my home, my pace. My book. It's kind of soft. It makes the meaning a little bit softer. Okay, so that's one reason. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take a little Japanese English test. So what we're going to do is you guys are going to please pass these around. I want you to work together, together, help each other. Okay. No dictionary. That's the rule. No dictionary. No smartphones. I want you to think and ask each other. Okay? Now, some of these words are real gaidaigo. Honto no gaidaigo mo Okay? But if you think it's Japanese English, can I? じゃ、これだけ日本語で説明するね。聞いてる。で、その単語は本当の外来語と思ってれば何も書かんで。で、えっと、和製語だと思ってたら本当の英語を書いてください。オッケー。分かった。それだけ。I like piercings too. I have 11. My mother hates it. My mother hates it. My mother hates it. Okay. So let's look at number one. So let's look at number one. Piercu. Is pierced gaidaigo or waseigo? What do you think? You're right. Japanese English. Piercu or waseigo. Piercu is in English is only a verb. Doshi de tsukatsukawana. For example, ano akiru. We say I pierce my ear. Okay? English you would say just earring. Earring. Do you know? Cheating. Cheating. Very good. 
Cheating. My students are always cheating. Especially in second year. Cheating. Now, cunning, there is a word in English, cunning. Cunning, do you talk about other idiot? But the meaning is, zurukashiko. Okay, so the meaning is a little bit different. Okay, the meaning is different. Alright, number three, orientation. Gairaigo or waseigo? That's right, it's English, it's gairaigo. Orientation is English. Okay? Number four, skinship. What do you think? Skinship. Gairaigo or waseigo? This is a great waseigo word. This is junsui no waseigo. This is a great. This is very interesting. Listen to the history of, of this word skinship. Okay? Some people think it was invented in Korea, and some people say this word was invented in Japan. There's many ideas. Okay? Um, and in Korea, in Korean they say skinship too. In Korea and Japanese only, you use the word skinship. But in Korea, skinship means uh, touching between, like in a romantic way, romantic way, like with your boyfriend or your friends to touch, that's skinship. In Japanese, it's more like a mother and baby kind of nuance, okay? So even the meaning in Japanese and Korean is very, very different, okay? It's very different. In English, you would say bonding, bonding. Skinship is bonding. Okay? Skinship. You could also say like skin to skin contact, but it's a little bit weird. So bonding is the best. Bonding is the best. Do you know Japanese words summertime? What does summertime mean? Huh? Anybody know what summertime is? Please explain in Japanese. Nihongo de Setsume Anyone? Do you know? Okay. This is in, in America, in America, the, there's a time change. You'll go one hour change. Right? One hour go forward and one hour go back. In Japan, there's no summertime. Summertime on that. For example, now in America, Time difference is 13 hours. 13 hours. But in the summertime, it will become 14. The time will change. That's called summertime in Japanese. So you say the one. summertime. In English, we call it daylight savings time. Daylight savings time. Save daylight. Okay, next one. Sign. Sign. Can I have your sign? Can I have your sign? So there you go. Would you go to a famous person and say, Can I have your sign, please? English, what do you think? What do you think? Japanese English? This word is Japanese English. You would say, anybody know English? Autograph. That's right. Autograph. <laughs> <laughs> so, who, who, who do you want to meet? Tom Cruise. Okay? So she would go to America and she sees Tom Cruise and she would say, Your autograph? Can I have your autograph? She would say that. You'd say, Can I have your autograph? Okay, next. Smart home. Gaira go, Huh? Gaira go. Smartphone is English. Gaira go. However, however, smart home wa wasego. Smart home. Smartphone wa, but smartphone wa, okay. 
In English, we say smartphone. Smartphone. Okay. Now, the Japanese word keitai denwa is what? Cell phone in America. What about in England? What do they say? In America, we say cell phone. In England, they say mobile phone. Okay? Both are okay. American English or British English. Okay? All right, next one. One piece. One piece. What do you think? Is it wasego or gairaigo? Huh? Wasego. How do you say it in English? Dress. Dress. Very good. Very good. Okay? Very nice. Fried potato. Okay? You go to Mac McDonald's. McDonald's in English is? Okay, let's practice. Ready? McDonald's. 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 Very nice. You go to McDonald's and you order some hamburger and French fries. Very good. French fries. Okay. French fries. The S is important. So she like the French fries. French fries. French fries. And it's R, okay? L. No L. L is too high. French flies. Okay? France is a high level. Yeah, okay? French fly. French fries. S. That S is very important. Okay? In English, it's very important that that S is very important. For example, if you say, I like dog. Inu ga suki te ita desho. I like dog. That means, inu ni ku taberu koto ga suki. But if you say, I like dogs, it means, I like dogs. In very, that S is very important in English. Okay, it's very important. All right, next one. Soft cream. Soft cream. Gairego wa seigo. That's right. English, ice cream. Get it? Just say ice cream. Okay? Next, uh, apri. Apri. Wa seigo, what's English? Application or what's the short way to say? App. You know important English because you're diagnosed. This is important app. Okay, app. A P P. App. App. Okay. Uh, let's see. App. Next. Business hotel. Business hotel. Sounds like English, right? Business hotel. What do you think? What do you think? Business hotel. Is it English? <coughs> Japanese English? No? The better is <coughs> Business hotel is Jap Japanese English. I'll say go. Just say hotel. Hotel like it. There's no business. <laughs> Next one, challenge suru. For example, toiko challenge suru toka. Toiko challenge suru. What do you think? English, Japanese English? Gairaigo, wasego. This one's very difficult. If you want to say nani nani o challenge suru, you do not say that in English. So you wanna, you would just say I'm going to try, or I'm going to attempt. Try. Try or attempt. So you would say, I'm going to try to take the towing test this year. I'm going to try to learn how to cook. Okay? You would never say, challenge is only a noun. Meishi dake Okay? Or there's another way, but it's kind of confusing. Okay, we'll just forget that today. But it's you would say try. Alright, next one. Uh, just to fit to. Just to fit to. What do you think? Masego? Gairego? Masego. Anybody know English? This is an important word. You would say it fits perfectly. It fits perfectly. 
right? It fits perfectly. <laughs> or it's a perfect fit, right? Both are okay. Or it's a perfect fit. Both are okay. Both are the same. Next one is one of my favorite words. I love the word open car. Open car. This is one of the good points of Wasego, right? And Wasego no. And we go good. It's very easy to, to imagine, right? Open car. It's a summer day, you're driving. Open roof, the wind is blowing in your hair, right? It's a great word. Oh, he doesn't have any hair. <laughs> it's not blowing in his hair. It's my face. Yeah. So, Open car is, is Japanese English, Wasego. We say convertible in English. Convertible. Paper driver 
No English word. Do you know why? There's no English. Why? Why is there no English for paper driver? Who been? Right? There's no concepts in, in, in English countries. Right? Next, last one, pen case. How do you say? Pencil case. Good. Pencil case. In English. What do you think? Difficult? Is it difficult? Yes? Difficult? Yes? It's very interesting though. Japanese English is very, very interesting. Okay? License plate. L I C E N S E. License plate. Okay, let's move on. Now, I'm going to talk, there's many kinds of Japanese English, many, many kinds. It's very interesting. Okay, so let's take a look at different kinds. Uh, so, the first kind of Japanese English is when the words are made short. For example, English word platform, platform is shortened to home. Okay, so, platform Convenient. Convenience store becomes convenient. Competition becomes competitive. Okay? This is when you take an English word and you make it short. Okay? That's one type of Japanese English word. Okay? Another one. These words are real English words, but the meaning in English is different than the meaning in Japanese. Okay, so let's look mansion. What's mansion mean in English? Anyone know? Do you know? Tell me, tell me, tell me. You think? Apartment. Apartment. Or flat. Flat is okay. Flat is okay. What does the word mansion, in English we have a word mansion. What does it mean? Anybody know? English, if you say in English, I live in a mansion, you live in this huge, huge, expensive house. Seven bathrooms, ten bedrooms, a movie theater, a gym. That's what my, ma mansion means in English. That's what the word mansion means in English. So if you go to America and you tell your friends, I live in a mansion, your friends are going to go, yeah, see it. They're going to say that. Okay? All right. Next one. Aggressive. Aggressive in English has a positive meaning. Kapatsuteki. Right? But in English, aggressive, is, it means you're kind of like kogekiteki. It's like you're very aggressive on someone. You attack someone. You're too aggressive. Okay? So the meaning in Japanese is positive, but the meaning in English is negative. Next word, marathon. This word is so interesting. My child, my, my, my daughter, I have three, three girls. My oldest daughter, when she was, uh, she comes home from school and she says, Mommy, Mommy, I'm going marathon. And I said, what? A marathon? You're only second grade. Why did I? I'm shocked, right? In English, marathon only means 42.195 kilometer race. No English can that. So my niece's daughter comes home and says, Mommy, I'm running a marathon at school. And I'm thinking it's some kind of gomo, some kind of torture. But in Japanese, Marathon means any kind of race, right? No, it could be one kilometer, five kilometers, three kilometers, okay? So the meaning is different. Kura, kura means air conditioner in, Jap in Japanese, right? Air conditioner, right? But in English, cooler means 
Anyone know? Ego no kura no yumi wakaru. This is interesting. Ego no, Nihongo no kura wa, Ego no kura wa, Nihongo no kura box. Right? So in, 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 the English word cooler is the Japanese word for cooler box. Cooler box. So it's very confusing, right? Very confusing. Uh, rejime. Rejime means like a, a meeting schedule. Japanese and English, the word rejime means rideksho. This word means rideksho, uh, resume. Juice. When you hear the Japanese word juice, please imagine in your mind, juice. You go to a party, okay? You go to your friend's house and you have a party. And your friends say, please bring juice. Juice, what would you take? What would you take? What would you take? Orange juice, what would you take? Melon soda. Melon soda, what would you take? Melon soda, what would you take? Melon soda, okay. you guys love melon soda. Melon soda, melon soda too. <laughs> You could say melon soda, you could say you would take cola, you could take pokari sweat, you would take mitsia cider, right? Or you could take apple juice. All of those things mean juice in Japanese. But in English, juice only means fruit juice. Apple juice, orange juice, grape juice, only. Okay? Pokari and, uh, and uh, Aquarius would be sports drinks. Right? Coke and cola and uh, Mitsuya Tyler, melon soda, that would be soft drinks. Soft drinks. Okay? And then cunning, I told you, means cheating, right? It means cheating, okay? Alright. Now these words are original Japanese and English words. Batontachi. Okay? Batontachi. Okay? In English, you say pass the baton. Pass the baton. Pass. Pass the baton. Best ten. Best ten. What's English? Anyone know? Top ten. Top ten. Okay. In English, we say top ten. One piece. I told you. Shopping. How do you say shopping in English? Shopping. <laughs> nice try. Anybody know? <laughs> Anybody know? It's really a long word. We say mechanical pencil. Mechanical pencil. Mechanical pencil. Mechanical. M E C H A N I C A L. Mechanical. And then these words are abbreviated. Yakusari pen, ball pen, but English ballpoint pen. Remote remote control. Smartphone, white smartphone, ice. Sekuhara, voice voice training. Now, these words like ice. Toka sandwich mo san sandwich. One day, my student came to me and said. I love ice and sand. I love ice and sand. Right? But I'm thinking, Right? Ice and sand. Okay? So you cannot do that. You cannot call ice cream ice in America. You cannot. Okay? They're going to only think of ice, what you put in your drink. Um, and these words are not English words. Power spot, image change, decorator, company. How do you say company in English? Anybody know? So we cut in English. Cheat sheet. Cheat sheet. Cheat sheet. Tomodachi choco wa ne, nai yo ne. Kinniku, kinniku train, kintore. How do you say kintore in English? Does anyone here like kintore? Anyone? <laughs> Nope, not muscle training. We call it uh, weight, weight training. Weight training. I love, I love exercise. I love exercise and I bought a house and I made, in my house, I made a gym in my house. 
and I put a bordering bordering wall. I don't know what I'm going to cover it. It's so fun. Okay? Yeah. So fun. Okay? Alright, next. Now, these words, you need to be careful. Anything with my. Okay? My ga haitta tango hotondo wa seyo. My home, my bag, my car, my pace. Most of those words are going to be Japanese English. Right? Now, my, the word my in Japanese is not really watashi no no hibi janai. Jibun no. Right? My car de ikimasu ka? Te kikari dara. Watashi no kuruma de dake janai. Anato no kuruma de ikimasu ka? Obaha chan 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 no kuruma de ikimasu ka? Right? That could mean that, right? So the word my means jibunno in English, right? My car, my pace, my home. Okay? Most of the time in English you would say my own, my own. I want my own car, my own home. Okay? Anything using up, skill up, level, level up, base up, bust up, hip up. Those are all Japanese English, okay? They grew up. And anything using man, girl, boy, woman, baby, etc. Sarari ma, baby ka, chiraga to ka, nanto ka boy, nanto ka man. Almost all of those are going to be Japanese English, okay? So, it's very difficult to decide what is gairaigo, what is waseigo. It's very difficult. But these are some hints to the hint. Anything using my or up, uh, point, no, no sleeve, no nantuka, no make. Anything using no is also very common in Japanese English. Okay? So what should you do? Those are the right? What should you do? The important thing is, so that this is this word is guide I go. This word is wake. Wake. That's the most important thing that you can do. So in Japan, you use Japanese English with your friends. Okay? For example, you can say words like no make, or you can say words like open car. But when you go to England, or America, or Australia, you would say, oh, I don't have makeup. I'm wearing no makeup. I look terrible. Right? You would say no makeup, not no make, no makeup. Okay? So use Japanese English in Japan, happily, and then use Gairago in another country. So the most difficult thing is which is Gairago and which is Wakego. Okay? That's the most difficult thing. Now how do you do that? First, the pitfalls. Like I said, anything with my or girl or man or boy or baby or up. Many of those things are Wasego. Okay? When you hear a word, uh, when you hear a katakana word, stop and think, hmm, is that kairaigo or is that waseigo? Is that a known word or is that Japanese English? Stop and think. Look in the dictionary. Ask your friends. Ask your teacher. Is your English still good? Uh, my English is terrible. His English is not good. Yeah. I forgot. His English is very good. So ask him. If you hear a word and you don't know, is this a known word or is this Japanese English? You can ask your teacher. Okay? Ask your friends. Come on. Okay? But you, you guys, you guys, how many of you like English? You guys like English? They go ask you next Come on, everybody, put your hands up. <laughs> I teach in the Kowakubu. I teach in the I teach in the Kowakubu, and many students they don't like English. Have a hachiju percent of that. Okay? <laughs> but you guys should love English because you're all English majors. Yeah. You, your, your vocabulary is 10%. 10% is guide angle, right? 10%. Right? So you should have, you have that, that foundation. You have the English foundation to build and become a good English speaker. Okay? So it's very important to, to, to learn and, and to practice English, okay? And how, how do you learn English for you? How do you learn English? What do you do? How do you study English? Speak. Okay, from a textbook? How do you learn English? How do you learn English? 
Hadi ister iyi gider. Textbook only. Does anyone have any foreign friends? Do you have any English friends? English speaking friends? No? How about you like English music? English music? Can you sing? Yes? You sing English mu music at karaoke? Yes? How about English movies? Yes, English movies? What about English books? Do you read English books? Or uh, YouTube? You, can, you guys like YouTube, right? YouTube in English? You can read English blogs, English magazines, right? To practice your English, right? So find something that you like. Find something that you like to do and do it in English. If you like cooking, cook in English. If you like movies, watch movies in English. If you like music, listen to English music. If you like sports, play sports in English. Okay, that's the way. I learned Japanese at karaoke. I went to karaoke. When I came to Japan uh, 18 years ago, you had to name mine when I came to Japan, I was 20 something, 20 something. And my students were 20, 21. So my students and I would go to karaoke every week, all night to karaoke. And I would sing Japanese pop songs and rock and every, every week for many hours, five, 10 hours every week, I would sing karaoke. And so I learned Japanese from reading. I learned to read the kanji from karaoke. Okay? So you can do the same thing. Okay? okay, so I'm finished. Thank you. This is my, I keep a blog. Anchan kara mirini phone. All my friends call me Anchan. But I write a blog, I write a blog, it's bilingual. And a bilingual blog, Hakata bento ego. Kyojin no wakara. Okay, so, so, and I, and I write about language and about culture, so you can read, if you go to Google, it's a good um, Japanese English work, you can find it and you can find information on that, okay? So, if you have any questions about English or you want to ask me about Wasego or anything, please, you can send me an email or a message at my blog, okay? So if anybody has any questions, please come and talk to me anytime. So thank you. Thank you, Ms. Christine, for your interesting presentation. If anyone has any questions, please come and talk to Ms. Christine later. That brings us to the end of today's English lecture. We would like to thank Ms. Christini again for talking us, uh, talking uh, again for talking the time to speak to us today. Please join us for our next English lecture on June twenty-first. The speakers will be our three students from the University of Winchester, Tegan, Lola, and Anna. They will be talking about different countries, their cultures. <laughs> we are really looking forward to hearing them speak. Thank you for attending today. Before you leave, please leave your feedback forms at the front. Goodbye and thank you.